What's up guys? Welcome to another video of Assassin's Creed Unity. I wanted to do a quick review of the game um, now that it's been out for a couple of weeks and it's received all the uh, updates so far. Well, I guess we're still waiting for one uh, update 4 for the PC. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to kind of talk about it and after having played a few hours, uh, it's going to give you an idea of what you can expect. Ow. So, as I was saying, um, overall, I think, you know, um, given the fact that I play all the games in uh, 4K, um, which is 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz, um, you know, I expect not only great graphics, but good gameplay and, you know, smooth gameplay over um, a lot of things. My secondary rig has the um, Asus ROG Swift uh, monitor, which is 144 hertz um, at 1440p. So, you know, sometimes I jump on there to just get uh, really smooth gameplay. But, you know, it's just, I have to say, Assassin's Creed Unity uh, so far. I think is the best looking game hands down. I mean the graphics are really um, unparalleled in terms of the lighting and you know the texture quality. Um, so let me show you guys the options just to cover what I'm running it under. So you know it's as I said 4K at 60 Hertz and um, you know everything's on ultra high with the soft shadows and the HBAO plus uh, ambient occlusion and I'm running FXAA because the GTX 980 classifies I have have only four gigs of VRAM and as you can see on the top left um, you know it's currently using slightly over four gigs of VRAM so I'm right at the limit um, so FXAA works okay but um, you know overall the quality is just really great as far as the graphics are concerned now going to the gameplay I have to say that this is probably one of the worst Assassin's Creed games ever and I have and um, you know all the Assassin's Creed games um, I played them several times over and they've honestly in my opinion gone downhill after Assassin's Creed 2 I enjoyed Brotherhood but it kind of got repetitive and after that it's just it's just gone downhill black flag was pretty good it was different because uh, of the whole you know sea uh, naval combat piracy and all that stuff but uh, you know as far as the gameplay itself is concerned and the story um, I didn't really like uh, black flag but unity I think takes a special uh, place at the bottom because it's got to be one of the most boring games ever um, as you can see I'm just walking around this is of course after I've beaten the game so uh, in the other AC games you always have like squads of you know police or the guards or whatever walking around you can engage in combat uh, and do those things but here it's rarely do you come across any of the guards for combat it's just a lot of civilians just milling about um, obviously you, you don't want to hurt them but um, it's just really boring like once you beat the game um, of which I have to say the missions are kind of you know they're okay I guess because it's about the French Revolution but afterwards it's just it's just kind of um, it's just boring there's no other way to explain it I I beat this game um, and honestly, I am not planning to play it again. The only reason I'm playing it now is to, to really do a video of it. Um, it's certainly not something that uh, I enjoy. And 
um, as I mentioned before in some of my comments you know I got this game I got this game for free when I got the GTX 980 classifieds but if I had to buy the game I would definitely say you know wait till it drops to like ten dollars or you get some uh, you know freebie because it's definitely not worth sixty dollars in my opinion um, and if you go on the forums you would pretty much realize that uh, many others agree um, as you can see after several weeks of it being released and patch after patch it's still stuttery and you know these are two top end cards you know granted I'm playing at 4k with everything maxed out but it's still this is unbelievable you know Battlefield 4 with everything maxed out at 4k I'm getting close to 100 frames a second with the same setup a 56 5960x at 4.4 gigahertz and two GTX 980 classifieds at 1580 megahertz should you know be able to handle most of the games at close to 60 frames a second it's just it's just really sad that um, this game you know barely holds 30 so um, it definitely is demanding but uh, I don't know it's just not um, It's just not one of the, the better games out today. I mean, there are some alternatives like Far Cry 4, which is also made by Ubisoft, but it's a much better game in terms of the actual way they've implemented it. Um, you know, of course, I think this game does look better, but it's just gameplay-wise, it, it's just a bore fest. Um, you know, yes, you have all those co-op missions and, you know, online stuff you can do, but you know how often are you going to be uh excited to be doing that after you beat the game it's for me it's not a whole lot um you know as i said i this is probably one of the last times i'm going to be playing this unless they come out with some magical pack that's going to make the gameplay really smooth and or the dlc is really awesome but you know, um, of course, Ubisoft has announced that they're going to give the first DLC away for free because the launch was such a um, terrible uh, thing that, you know, most people were complaining um, that they had such poor quality and poor experience, even on consoles, that Ubisoft decided to just give away the first DLC for free. But um, one of the biggest gripes I've had with Assassin's Creed in general not just this game is the combat um, I'm really sick and tired of the way they um, implemented it you know it's always been this kind of one button mashing nonsense now of course you can roll away like that and block but as far as like the combos and stuff it's just really really weak you know uh, another game that really implemented combat well was Shadow of Mordor, in my opinion, which had all these executions and combos that you had to actually string together. It was a lot of fun, but this game, you just you sit there and keep doing this. It takes literally no skill. There's no combos. I just keep mashing X, and that's it. And great, you can loot people after you take them out, but it's just the, the worst thing about AC definitely has to be the combat. And until and unless they update it. I would really not consider getting this game. Ow. Oh, he dodged it. But, um... Yeah, 
Yeah, most of the missions I, I felt were kind of subpar. It's just, I can't really relate to this whole French Revolution thing. I mean, it, it seemed kind of cool, but I don't know. I just, you know, after the first game, which was just incredible, based in three different cities with Altair, you know, going to Ezio was fine in Italy and, you know, the Renaissance and whatnot, but I just... I just think Assassin's Creed has just, you know, gone downhill after the second game. I mean, they really need to reconsider making other Assassin's Creed games, maybe give it a break and come back with something fresh. But, um, yeah, guys, I, I have to say I'm pretty disappointed with this game. Um, you know, it's... Uh, So if you're out there considering getting this game, I'd say hold off unless you can get it for free if you get like a new graphics card or wait uh, till it comes to like the Steam sale or something or I mean you play that might offer a sale for like 10 bucks but it definitely is not worth its full price. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what your experiences have been as far as Assassin's Creed Unity is concerned. And, you know, what systems you've been playing it on. And whether you've had relatively smooth gameplay or not so smooth. I'm, I'm keen on knowing what others are, are going through. I just, you know, I can't be the only person out there um, having this stutter fest and, this, frankly, this bore fest. But... But uh, if you guys enjoyed the game, or if you think that... It's worth its weight in gold. Leave a comment below and let me, let me know what you guys think. Um, as always guys, you know, if you like the video, uh, press that like button, it always helps. And uh, of course, subscribe. You know, stay tuned for uh, more videos of, I guess, better games. <laughs> and if you want more videos of Assassin's Creed Unity, do let me know in the comments and I'll uh, be sure to record some more. Oh. Cool.